All right, this is episode four of Thomas Brunkbart's Tech Time. Today we're going to be discussing the uh, H4 headlights, the H4 headlight harness, and some LED headlights. Uh, they'd be part number 1477 for the LEDs, 1473 for the H4 conversion headlight, and 1471 for the harness. And this relay harness will control either the H4s or any LED light that we have available. So it's going to fit any application headlight that we have in stock. So the first thing we're going to do to get started, we're going to remove the headlight bezels. We're going to remove the headlights by removing the headlight retaining ring. And then we're going to lay out the relay harness. So we've removed our headlights and now we're ready to lay out the harness. So I'm going to show you a couple features about the harness and how it's set up. So the first thing you'll notice is two fused ends right here. And these eyelets are going to get attached directly to the positive battery terminal. As you come down the harness here, you'll notice two relays. And you'll also notice this uh, little diode here. This allows the low beams to say on when you click the high beams on and it gives you a lot brighter output because both elements are going at the same time. Come down the harness a little bit more and you'll notice that the female plug will go directly to the back of the new headlights that we're going to be installing and this male plug will plug directly into the factory passenger headlight socket. So it's a plug and play setup. And if you follow the harness over you have another lead that's going to go directly to the driver's side headlight in order to make it function. So we're going to route this out behind the core support. We're going to mount the relays to the inner fender skirt. And we're going to hook up the eyelets to the battery terminal connection. All right. So before you do any electrical connections at all, it's best to take off the negative battery cable so that the system is not energized while you're doing anything electrical. So if you come over here and look, we'll go through the harness one more time. You can see the two red wires have been attached to the positive battery terminal. That's probably the best place to be. You could also probably go to the starter solenoid where the main battery cable would attach to. That would be acceptable. It just looks cleaner and tidier over here. As you look on the inner fender skirt there, you can see the two relays are mounted. And the little diode is just hanging out. We will zip tie all these wires up when everything is situated. Come down the harness a little bit further. You can see that the factory headlight plug on the passenger side plugs directly into, again, remember the male plug-in that's on the relay harness. This is going to signal the harness and tell the harness when to trip on and trip off. And we have here the female that's going to go directly to the headlight assembly itself. And if you follow along behind the core support, we've routed the driver's side wires. And when we're done, we get the headlight in and plugged in. We'll tuck that up against the back of the core support there. Come over to the driver's side. The plug is here for the driver's side headlight. You can just disregard the factory plug on the driver's side. Just tape it up, tie it up out of the way. It will not be used when running these headlights. And don't forget both headlight plugs have a ground wire that needs to be attached to make the headlights function. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and install the headlights. We're gonna plug in the connections and we're gonna tidy up our wire here. So we've installed our headlights. We've got our wiring harness hooked up on both the driver and the passenger side. We've reattached the positive and negative cables to the battery. All our harness is hooked up. We've tied up the harness at both sides. And now we're just ready to give it a test. High beam and low beam. Alright, so one feature of these LEDs we did hook up is the halo feature. 
and it lights up the outside two elements on each headlight. And all you need to do in order to make that function is tie one wire on the back of that pigtail into the running lap circuit that is attached to your front running lamp there in order to make those work. So kind of a cool feature that some of the other ones don't have. And other than that, we're good to go. If you have any questions regarding these parts or anything else we've discussed on any of the videos, feel free to contact us on our website or call our 800 number.